Uh, good afternoon to you, Tam. Uh, this all started in a, a great blaze of glory in uh, Tanzania, or was it Zimbabwe, the, no, the Victoria started, Falls? No, they started point. off in Tanzania in 2012 yeah. um, with the help of uh, the experienced people in the industry, mm. um, like, say, Stelios, who started EasyJet, yeah. and um, they, they put in money to start the, uh, the operation. It is a good model. It is a mm. model that they believe in. It is a model that it is works a place elsewhere. in Africa. Yeah. Well, even... Um, um, even in Africa, when you look at um, what they did when they when they launched in Zimbabwe in uh, in October 2015, because at that time what they were doing was looking at expanding in other in other areas, and the response from the people on the ground, those that were uh, that that had the benefit of using the service on that day, mm. was quite positive. Yeah, it's great. It was great. We loved it. So we were going to take a 12-hour interview, <laughs> and then we didn't have to. So we're very happy. Yes, we're happy that this exists. <laughs> of course, their main market, uh, Tanzania, as, as you were saying to me earlier, low demand there, uh, and also weak African currencies into the mix, causing uh, part of the problem. Yeah, but uh, it it is more to do with uh, the creation of uh, new routes and new markets, making sure that the licenses uh, are in place, because the aviation checks, the requirements, the international standards, the laws, there's so much work that you have to do. But it is not in Africa alone. It can be anywhere in any part of the world. Mm. Even if you wanted to start um, a flight or so get some routes in the United States of America, you will still be faced with uh, similar challenges. So these are the challenges they are talking about mm. because they need clearance from all the other areas. They are saying that they, they still have 20 million US dollars uh, in the coffers to be able to take the business forward. Mm -hmm. And if they are going to sustain growth going forward, if they are going to take advantage of the new markets that they want to go into, they might have to raise more funds, mm. which is where the worry is. But then it can also be good news to those that want to invest, because yeah. this is the lowest maybe in eight years that you're having prices drop into, mm. uh, I mean, by about 45% to about 40, 45p, 44p. So it can be good news for others that are yet to go on board. But then we know that people like Stelios and others mm. want the chief executive, uh, Ed Winter, to be fired, yeah. and maybe some of the board members like Krista Bates mm. to leave. Mm. We don't know. He has called an emergency um, general meeting. I noticed So this. we don't know what he, they are going to do. He's saying, so Stelios is basically saying that management have burned through cash, and that's why part well, of why Well, but they are, they are already talking about um, shrinking the, ex I mean, the, the operations. They want to reduce the overheads. They want to make sure that they have got enough money in the coffers. One thing that has been spoken about is them moving their headquarters from Gatwick, because it's quite expensive, oh. and base that maybe in South Africa or Zimbabwe, or even Tanzania, yeah. where they where most of their operations are. But they might, I mean, those are some of the things that they, they are doing, but they are doing some work to make sure that uh, they can uh, sustain the business going forward. Okay, Tam, thank you as always.